In this lesson, we're going to be talking about uses of UDP. UDP is a user datagram protocol, and the user datagram protocol is used for things that really just need speed and aren't concerned so much with whether messages get to the destination and whether they arrive there in the correct sequence or not. UDP is really all about getting something out onto the wire really fast and not really worrying so much about whether it gets there. Some uses of UDP. Here, for example, we've got a DNS packet. And of course, we'll get into DNS in subsequent lessons, but DNS is how we do lookups of names from the name to an IP address or vice versa. So with a DNS lookup, I'm really looking for speed because if I have to do a DNS lookup, then I really want the name to come back quickly or the IP address to come back quickly so that I can continue doing the actual work, which is sending the request to the correct IP address. I need to do that really fast, and I don't worry so much about whether it actually gets there, and I'm really not going to be worried about sequencing because DNS requests and replies are small enough that they're going to fit inside one datagram. I really want to get it out quickly. If I don't get a response fast enough, then I'm going to send out another request to another DNS server. And in the meantime, if the other server gets back to me, great. If not, I've got a second request that's gone out. So I'm really looking for something that's fast and not really worried so much about efficiency. Other uses for UDP. Gaming protocols, for example, would use UDP because often you want something to get there quickly. If you are moving around in a game, you want those updates sent quickly, and if they don't get there, it's not really a big deal because you're going to send out another one pretty quickly anyway. That's why gaming often uses UDP when you're talking about online games. Voice over IP, video streaming, the same idea. I don't worry about sequencing with video or audio streaming because if something comes out of order, then I'm probably just going to drop it and I'm not going to wait for missing packets because if I wait for missing packets, then what's going to end up happening is you're going to end up with really choppy audio. I'd rather drop a couple of packets and the ear or the eye will actually fill in missing information. So that's why I'm going to use UDP for streaming media. So that's just some uses of UDP. Again, UDP is really where I want to do something really fast and get it out on the wire, not really worry about all of the overhead of doing connection setups and retransmits. As an application, I will worry about whether I retransmit or what I do in terms of sequencing.